Okay, so when you search for Anton Sprint Mobile on the Play Store, this is the screen where you obviously install it from. Um, and I'm going to do what you'd normally do, so hit install. Um, this is just accepting that it can access your calendar and your contacts and so on, which obviously you'll need to accept, and then it will download. Okay, so that's done. So once you've got the uninstall and open buttons available, obviously hit open. Um, and what you'll get is the new version opening up. And it's asking you here, this is the instructions on how to upload to the new version or, or transfer across to the new version if you want to do it. So what you have to do is open the old app first. So you hit open old, there's a button for that. Um, and what it will then, what you need to do is go and see what, um, make sure this is the old app by hitting the about button and just checking that it's uh, an old version number. I'm currently on 1.3.01 here. Um, you may be on something different, but that should be distinct from the new version, which will typically be version two point something if it's the Play Store loaded app. Okay, so once you've verified this is the old version you're on, you go to backup and restore from your settings button at the top. It's backup and restore. And what you do is you hit backup. Okay, so what that then provides you with is a, a, a report number here or a, a file um, name, if you like. It's always sm-backup, the date and the time. So I'm going to say, yeah, okay, make a note of that first, then click OK, and it will do the backup. Once that's backed up, it says backup successful, you click OK, and you come back out. So now that's backed up, what you need is you come back out of the app all the way back to the Play Store page. So I'll keep hitting the back button, and here we are back at the Play Store page again. And now what we do is we open it again, and this is the version 2.00 at the moment, um, and rather than opening old, we now click OK to open the new version of the app. Now that the app's open, what you do is you go and restore. So again, same settings button, back up and restore, and this time instead of hitting back up, we hit restore. And I've backed up several times in the past, so you make you go to your note where you stored the number, and it was this one because it was done at 14.24 today. So I hit the right button, uh, restore to that file, yes, or hit OK, and now that will restore the data from your old app into the new one. Um, and you can then go in and check that some of the more recent um, customers or reports that you've done um, are now um, in the data. So you can click OK and you can go in and check in the normal way in your customers. So yeah, once you've got it opened up, this is obviously my list of customers. I'm going to go and find a customer that I know I've done some recent reports for, which was John Landlord. Where is he? There he is. Okay, so, and I can notice that all the notes, they've all ported across. Yeah, all the um, appliances I've that customer, they're all there. So now I'm confident. Let's just check the reports are all in. Service report, yeah. So all the reports are there. I'm now confident I can, um, everything's transported across and I can delete the old version of the, or uninstall the old version of the app. Um, if you do uninstall the old version of the app, because you, you've saved that back up and restore, yeah, you can restore to any version at any time anyway. But you know, hopefully that will show you how to go from the, the Anton website loaded version to the Play Store version if that's what you want to do. Okay, thank you. Okay, once you've restored it to the new version, it's important that you do go and delete your old version. So what you do, you go into settings here. Um, it might be different on your device uh, if it's one's a Samsung, but they're all slightly different on Android. But go into application manager, find the two versions of the app. I think they should be together because they're alphabetical. Uh, there's our Sprint Mobile and Sprint Mobile. Check the version number, so that's 2.0.00, so that's the most recent one we've downloaded from the Play Store that we've just updated. And so the second one, therefore, yeah, is the old version, and you literally click uninstall. Um, Sprint Mobile will be uninstalled, click uninstall. And then you're running on the one version thereafter, and there'll be no uh, conflicts and no loss of data because you typed into the wrong one. Okay, hopefully that's useful. Thank you.